will tell you something that can help enrich your life. It's a sure sign from God that he ain't through with you because he wakes you up in the morning. When he's done, you won't wake up no more. But as long as you're waking up, that's, that means he has something for you that he hasn't been able to give to you for whatever the reason. I'm going to help you get to that reason a little bit quicker. I want to tell you something that I learned that changed my life. I was reading a book one time that had a quote in there from Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. If you think about that, that's a really, really true statement. Because everything you see in this world came from somebody's imagination. Everything. Somebody was talking on the phone one day, on that wall phone, connected to the cord, and tried to walk and it didn't go no further. And he wanted to just go outside and get something out the car. He said, somebody said, you know what? I wish I could take this phone outside. Everybody in here got a cell phone. It was in somebody's imagination. Somebody imagined that. Somebody imagined everything. Somebody got tired of walking. Somebody got tired of driving cars. Somebody said, we're going to fly. You're not fitting to fly. Everybody in here have been on the plane. See, your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why they call it the evidence of things not seen? Your imagination, you're the only one who can see it. You're the only one who can see it. See, so all this stuff you've been imagining was not some hocus pocus. When you imagine stuff, it's actually God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. That's what your imagination is. Why do you keep imagining yourself with a second home? Because God wants you to have a second home. Why do you keep imagining yourself in a supervisory capacity on another job? Because God really wants you to have that. Why you keep dreaming of opening a business one day? That's because that's what God really got for you. And he put it in your imagination. The problem with your imagination, though, is you tell it to the wrong people. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. You can't, oh man. Think about this in your life. How many times have you had this really incredible idea and you took it to your family and your friends? You shared it with them and they shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. Because God didn't put it in their imagination. He put it in yours. It was your evidence of things not seen. See, all this stuff you've been imagining, you ought to start working on it. Because that's what God really got for you. Your real life is in your imagination. I'm here to tell you that. You think I'm here by accident? I'm here because he put this in my imagination when I was 10. When I was 10, he showed me I was going to be on TV. That's all I ever wanted. The assignment when I was in the sixth grade was everybody write their name on a piece of paper and write what you want to be. You know what I wrote on my paper? I won't be on TV. Now, the, the problem I had, though, was I used to suffer with a serious stuttering problem. I couldn't talk outside my house. I stuttered for years. I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. I lost everything I ever owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. But at 10, though, I wrote on a piece of paper, I want to be on TV. So the teacher went around the room and read everybody's paper. She had you stand up when she called your name. And the only assignment was your name and what you want to be. Doctor, lawyer, dentist, basketball player, football player. I wrote I want to be on TV. She saved me for last. She said, look, Stevie, come to the front. Now I'm thinking, I'm going to the front because I got the best answer. Because ain't nobody had put that on their paper. She called me to the front. I'm thinking I'm going to give me a gold star. But I was wrong about that. She called me to the front to humiliate me. First of all, you know I can't talk. I suffered with stuttering stammer so bad, man. I couldn't talk at all. And that lady lit in on me. Why did you write this on your paper? Now I'm standing there. I can't talk. I, 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 who in this school ever been on TV? I, uh, uh, who in your family ever been on TV? Uh, 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 uh. Who in this neighborhood ever been on TV? 
I, I, I'm, I'm crushing, man. I'm standing there dying. She said, look at you standing there. You can't even talk. How they gonna put somebody like you on TV? So every Christmas, I send her a flat screen TV. Cause I don't want her to miss me. I do not want her to miss not now episode of me. Cause I wanted her to see what God had done for me. The fact that you couldn't see it. It wasn't for you to see. He put it in my imagination. But after three years of homelessness, losing everything I ever owned twice, suffering through the flunking out of school, go home and cut your TV on. That little boy with the stuttering problem, he all over that TV. You can't cut your TV on. You can't cut your TV on not now a day of the week and you don't see that little boy. That little boy with the stuttering problem is all over that TV because God put it in my imagination. All I did was hang on to that thought. I just kept hoping. I just kept hoping that what I had wrote on the paper would come true. Ah, a lot of times it wasn't about no faith. I didn't believe it sometimes. When you homeless and living in the car, how you see yourself as a TV star? But I just kept hanging on there. Cause my mom was a Sunday school teacher. I kept hearing her say, God. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Why do you think he keeps waking you up? Cause he got more for you. He got way more for you. He got plans for you. But he needs your faith. He just needs you to call on him. He needs you to dust off your imagination and just go for it. You got to try. Quit waking up thinking you ain't got no say-so in your life. You have a choice in this matter. You can't stop what happened to you, but you can doggone show do something about what happened to you. Life is 10% what happened to you. It's 90% what you do about it. Somebody in your family gonna die. Somebody in here gonna get fired. Somebody here gonna get an eviction notice. Somebody gonna get laid off. Somebody company gonna close. That's life. Somebody you love gonna break up with you. That's life. But what you gonna do about it though? Since it's gonna happen anyway. Trust me, go home and ask God to open up your imagination and then pursue it with everything in you and watch what he do for you. Appreciate y'all.